In this video, we're going to discuss how to be more talkative and less shy. I'm about to share with you the exact same advice that I teach to our clients in our social skills coaching program. This stuff works, so make sure you stick around until the very end. My name is Mike Macapinlack. I help STEM professionals improve their social confidence. If you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every single week. In order to be heard and feel more included in any social gathering, you need to know how to be more talkative and less shy. Otherwise, you're going to miss out on a lot of opportunities to create meaningful connections. That being said, here are 12 actionable tips that you can implement right away. All right, let's get into it. Tip number one is to develop self-awareness. The quickest way that I know to feel inadequate is to compare yourself to others. You'll hesitate to share your thoughts if you don't feel like you're good enough. If you're wondering how to be more talkative and less shy, you need to develop self-awareness. The better you understand yourself, the more comfortable you'll feel in your own skin. To help you get started, I recommend you take an online personality test. Doing so will give you a good understanding of your strengths and weaknesses. For example, if you identify as an introvert, then you tend to lose energy from social interactions. You get drained after talking to too many people. You like to recharge by spending time alone. By having that kind of information, you can manage your expectations better. You'll be able to assess your situation more objectively and not feel like you have to be someone that you're not. As a result, you'll be able to make decisions intentionally and put yourself in situations where you're likely to thrive. Tip number two is to act as if you're confident. Your mind and body are interconnected. When you change one, the other follows. To prove my point, let me ask you a question. What do you think would happen to a sad person if he jumps up and down while pumping his fist in the air? He'd probably feel better, right? You see, this is where fake it until you make it comes into play. No matter how nervous you feel, make an effort to adopt the body language of someone who's charismatic. I recommend you pull your shoulders back, keep your chin up, and stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Make sure you smile, keep your arms to your side, and maintain eye contact with others. When you look more confident, other people will treat you as if you are. Tip number three is to plan ahead of time. You would write an exam that you didn't study for, right? So why would you go out to meet people and not have anything to say? If you want to learn how to be more talkative and less shy in any situation, you need to prepare ahead of time. That way, you don't bail on events that you want to attend because you feel too anxious. Mitigate your fears by researching a social gathering that you're planning on going to. Anticipate what most people might be talking about and come up with some stories that you can share. You can also familiarize yourself with trending topics and stay up to date with current events. When you know you have something valuable to say, you'll feel a lot more comfortable interacting with anybody. Tip number four is to accept who you are. Most people who are socially anxious never learn how to stop caring so much. They're afraid of being themselves because they don't want to be judged by others. As a result, they stifle their personality and try way too hard to fit in. If you're wondering how to be more talkative and less shy, you need to accept who you are. It doesn't matter if you're into nerdy stuff like comic books, cosplay, or coding. Embrace your quirks and let others see the real you. Remember, nobody likes people who are fake. So stop pretending to be someone that you're not. By doing so, you'll come across more authentic and relatable to others. When you act in alignment with who you are, you'll meet like-minded friends a lot faster. Tip number five is to overcome your approach anxiety. If you wanna know how to be more talkative and less shy, you have to get good at walking up to strangers. The sooner you manage your approach anxiety, the more abundance you'll have socially. If you don't have a lot of experience meeting people, make sure you start small and improve gradually. Gather as many positive reference experiences as you can. You wanna to prove to yourself that nothing bad will happen if you talk to someone you don't know. Unfortunately, I've worked with clients in the past who got some bad advice online. As a result, they got turned down repeatedly. Because they don't know how to overcome the fear of rejection, they took things personally. Eventually, they became jaded and timid. They just assumed that they're not meant to figure out how to be more outgoing. To prevent that from happening to you, lower the bar and get some quick wins. Just do the easiest thing that you can do and then go from there. For example, you can start by making eye contact and smiling at strangers. After that, try to make some small talk and then you can figure out how to keep the conversation going and do some witty banter as well. Do you see how that works? As you can see, you don't need to overcomplicate this process. Work on one thing at a time and build on your social successes. Tip number six is to volunteer information about yourself. If you're wondering how to be more talkative and less shy, avoid giving one-word answers as much as possible. For example, let's say you're an engineer and someone's wondering what you do for work. Don't just give them a short response. This makes it hard for anybody to keep talking to you because they don't have a lot of information to work with. The person you're interacting with has to keep asking more questions, which can make things awkward. 
to fix this, what you'll want to do is to volunteer more information about yourself. So then next time someone inquires about your career, talk about what got you into it and what you like about it. The more details you share, the more you'll trigger other potential conversation topics. Also, avoid using jargons when you tell your stories. These are terms that only other people from your industry would understand. If you do, that's just going to go over people's heads. Use simple words to talk about anything that may seem complicated. That way, you make it easier for people to maintain a conversation with you. Tip number seven is to be more relatable. We like people who are similar to us. If you wanna learn how to be more talkative and less shy, explore mutual interests as much as you can. That's how you build rapport with others quickly. Those who can do this well come across as more likable right away. Keep in mind that there are two ways to relate. You can do it logically or emotionally. Relating logically is what most people do. Let's say you're chatting with someone from the same hometown as you. That's a logical connection. But what if that isn't the case? What if you meet someone who does something completely different than you? This is when you try to relate emotionally. You can do this by inquiring about their motivation for doing what they do. You can also ask them how certain things make them feel. From then on, you can bring up a story where you've experienced something similar in the past. Tip number eight is to assess your situation. Most people who struggle socially often have an exaggerated version of what failure looks like. But if you wanna figure out how to be more talkative and less shy, you need to assess your situation more objectively. Ask yourself, what's the worst thing that can realistically happen? If you actually take the time to do this, you'll realize that nothing is ever as bad as you may think. For example, let's say you're at a party and you wanna introduce yourself to someone you've never met before. Well, a couple of things can occur. You can either have an awesome conversation and make a new friend, or things get awkward and you'll feel weird for a little bit. Both are possible outcomes for sure. But if you think about it, the worst case scenario isn't all that bad, right? That's why you should always challenge your assumptions. Don't believe everything your mind tells you right away. By taking more risk, you'll prove to yourself that you're capable of going for what you want. Tip number nine is to stop filtering yourself. If you're wondering how to be more talkative and less shy, you need to raise your self-esteem. You have to value your opinion more than what others think. Stop pressuring yourself to come up with clever things to say all the time. Ironically, trying way too hard has the opposite effect. Instead of people liking you, you end up coming across as more socially awkward. That's why you need to stop filtering yourself. Remove whatever expectations you have and be open to any outcome. Just relax, have fun, and allow your true personality to shine through. Remember, you're not going to be able to get along with everybody, so don't even try. Most people are so concerned about themselves anyway. They're usually not paying as much attention to you as you might think. Even if you say something silly, others would have forgotten about you in a few hours. Just focus on becoming the best version of yourself and have positive intentions when you interact with people. Tip number 10 is to be genuinely interested. Have you ever talked to someone who you know isn't fully paying attention to you? It's annoying, isn't it? If you wanna come across as someone memorable, remember to be present during your interactions. Give whoever you're with your full and undivided attention. The best way to do this is to view yourself as a student. Approach every interaction eager to learn something new. By doing so, you'll make whoever you talk to feel important and you're going to stand out in a good way. When you show people that you're genuinely interested in them, they will be interested in you as well. As a result, you'll be able to build deeper connections with others much faster. Tip number 11 is to practice being uncomfortable. In order to feel more confident in any situation, you have to practice repeatedly. For example, to help me overcome my shyness when I was younger, I got a job as a server in a busy restaurant. It broke me out of my shell very quickly because I had to talk to strangers every single day. On top of that, my tips were dependent on how likable I was. I also learned how to interact with different types of people because I was exposed to them a lot. That being said, if you wanna build your courage and overcome the fear of rejection, put yourself out there as often as you can. The more you do, the faster you'll figure out how to be more talkative and less shy. Tip number 12 is to work with a coach. Let me ask you a question. Would you take financial advice from a broke person? How about tips on how to get abs from someone who's overweight? If you wanna know how to be more talkative and less shy, learn from someone who has what you want. The thing is, information is cheap and it's available everywhere. What you're looking for is insight and that only comes from personal experience. Working with a competent social skills coach will help you fast track your results. You'll get a proven plan to follow and specific feedback on how you're doing. You'll have someone keep you accountable so that you keep taking the right action. Get this part of your life handled so that you never have to worry about it ever again. If you're shy and technically skilled and you wanna know how to approach and talk to anybody, remember to download your free social confidence cheat sheet. The link is in the description below. If you're tired of struggling socially and you wanna learn more about our social skills coaching program, book your free consultation today and let's connect. The link is in the description below as well. 
If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe, and share it with someone who you know who could benefit from it. And now, let's turn it to you. Which one of these tips are you going to implement first? Are you going to work on planning ahead of time? Or are you going to practice being uncomfortable? Leave me a comment below and let me know. All right, that's it for me for now, and I'll see you in the next video.